Alright, so there is a part that I did miss. Um, we also forgot about our release function right here. Um, now the main function of our release is just to clean up any data that we might have created ourselves. Now if we go over into app.h, we see all of these pointers that we have created. And I remember that when we initialized them to null at the beginning, and then you know uh, we checked, we did all those if checks to make sure that they were actually uh, you know s underscore okay. So what we need to do is whenever we're working with directx pointers, we need to make sure that when we're done with them, we cl we clean them up. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy all of these real quick, and then we're going to go over into the CPP and we're going to go into the release. Now I just quickly copied them over. Um, I personally recommend manually typing them out that way you know things are right. But what you're going to want to do is you want to check is if this pointer is not equal to null, then we're going to do a couple of things. And as a matter of fact, what you want to do is you want to do the object and the device last. Last. <laughs> so I'll say this again, last. Um, if you don't, it could possibly cause some problems. So we don't want those. So, like I said, we're going to put if checks around everything. Um, let's see, two, four. So, boom, two, three. So, there we go. And we're going to quickly just copy these over. Like I said, it's a bad idea to just do this copy and pasting, but for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to do that. All right, so now that we have these, what we need to do is two things. One, we're going to say, this works for all of them. What we're going to do is we're going to do this and we're going to just call release. And then after that, you want to set it to null, just in case we end up going back to all this and we don't try and use it once again. So once again, it's just that, just so we know that we uh, need to release and set it equal to null. And I'm going to copy this for the next couple of pieces. Oh. All right, so we're just going to quickly copy all this stuff over. Okay. So now that we've released all of this stuff, um, the reason why we're doing all this is so that we don't have any memory leaks and everything is just working great because in your programs you don't want memory leaks. Um, hopefully you know what those are. If not, once again, I will be explaining that stuff in uh, future videos. So now that we have this um, and we run our program, it'll run, you know, it does its thing and we can close out of it. But uh, we don't know exactly if, you know, we're cleaning up everything. What if we miss something? What we're going to do is, or what I'm going to do is, I'm going to comment out the shader, okay? And I'm still going to run it, but there still won't be anything after we close it. It's going to be like, oh yeah, everything's great. However, there is actually a problem. Currently, our shader is leaking memory, and we need to fix that. But, I mean, still, um, even though we do know that that is currently the problem, there has to be a way to know, you know, are we leaking memory or not? Sure, you can use, uh, there's stuff like VLD, um, to check for leak detections and whatnot. However, stuff like that does not know of if you're leaking any memory um, the gra on the graphics side. That stuff is never f seen by stuff like VLD. So what we do is DirectX actually gives you something. Um, comes with the DirectX SDK. If you go to start, um, go to the DirectX SDK and um, under the DirectX utilities, this command window, right, or not command window, the properties window um, right here, but you'd want to go to Direct 3D9. And then what you do is you want to copy the these uh, properties that I currently have checked, set, and everything. Um, the only thing that you want to change is use debug uh, version of Direct 3D9. Now you click that and you hit apply. Now after this, you need to do this. After you are done debugging, you need to do this. I'll be one more time. After you are done debugging, make sure that you do this. Set this back to use retail version of Direct 3D9 when you are done. If you do not, your computer will be going. Your computer will slow down. 
some programs will actually break and it won't work for you. Um, like you'll just be sitting like, like maybe maybe if you started up a game and you tried playing it, it will actually crash it. Even some programs that just use DirectX, because um, there are some things in programs that developers don't want to fix, can't fix, or maybe DirectX just thinks, oh, this is a problem, but it's really not. Um, I would personally show you right now, but um, I've already done tried to do a recording of this and. Believe it or not, the thing that I'm using to record actually does cause memory leaks. If you want to watch it in action, though, this is what it looks like. So if we go to apply, hit F5, and we run it, and then we close it, it'll be like, oh, wait, it didn't actually do it. <laughs> oh, we're in retail. OK, so F5, once again. Run it and close it, and it's like, oh, it's triggered a breakpoint. What? What? Uh. Um, bit BLT or bit stretch BLT failed to present. Um, this is actually is not with our program. That's not the problem. The thingy that I'm using right now is actually messed up. However, once it were to get past to this, actually, it should should hopefully break on where the shader is created. Actually, so it w should break um, somewhere around here. Should after you try and close it. Um, so anyway, just make sure that you do this because after you do that, um, it should fix your problem. But naturally, it's not going to fix mine because my program isn't the one that's actually throwing it off. But yeah, like I said, make sure you set this back to retail. Like I said, you will have problems if you don't. So now that we have that, um, that concludes the release portion of my video and that also does conclude the intro to DirectX set of videos as well. If you liked it, uh, subscribe, like the video, thumbs up, favorite, all that good stuff. And if you have any ideas for any extra tutorials, C++, Java, C Sharp, um, I would love to make them. Um, if you have any questions, message me, um, email me, all that jazz. All right, and thanks for watching.